Note, always follow local building codes because the fan may require specific fasteners or anchoring systems not discussed in this installation video. Installation should be done by a licensed roofing contractor. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. Note, your fan came with the smart control hub pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. If you would like to hardwire the fan or it is required by your local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in your owner's manual. Note, when applying weatherproof sealant, be sure to use a generous amount to create a watertight seal. The second generation AFR is designed to be the easiest roof mount attic fan that you can install on your home. For this installation, we will be installing the AFR on a tile roof. We will be using the included primary flashing as well as the QuietCool secondary flashing accessory. This flashing is sold separately and can be purchased anywhere QuietCool is sold. The part number for this accessory is FLA-SEC3743. For installing the AFR on a shingle roof, please watch the video titled Quiet Cool AFR Roof Mount Attic Fan Installation on Shingle Roofs. The first step for installing the AFR is to determine in which area you would like to install your fan. For typical installations, we would recommend inserting a screw into the center point between the two rafters where you would like to install the fan. The screw will help you find the location of your fan on the roof to make cutting the fan hole easy. However, for this installation, we will be removing an existing roof vent and replacing it with the QuietCool AFR. We will move the tiles out of the way to expose a large area around the vent, remove the existing vent, and use the provided template to trace out the 17 and a quarter inch diameter circle. Using a saw, cut out the traced hole pattern from the roof decking. Remove the cutout decking material from around the hole as needed. In a typical installation, once the hole is cut, you would want to apply weatherproof barrier to the roof. However, since this installation had an existing vent in this location, weatherproof barrier already exists on the roof. Next, remove the fan hood for easier installation. This will help you line up the fan to the hole in the roof and shape your tile. Position the fan so that it is centered with the vent hole. Lifting up the fan at an angle, apply weatherproof sealant to the bottom side of the fan unit. This will help keep the fan in place and create a watertight seal. Using a minimum of 8 roofing nails, nail the fan to the roof through the primary flashing, securing the fan to the roof. To prevent leaking, be sure to apply weatherproof sealant on the nail heads. Once complete, apply more weatherproof barrier around the fan unit on top and bottom. Be sure to apply a generous amount of weatherproof sealant underneath the weatherproof barrier and install with roofing nails. Apply weatherproof sealant to the seam between the AFR fan housing and primary flashing. The seam must be sealed to create a weatherproof barrier between the fan and the flashing. Note, this seam exists to allow the use of interchangeable flashings. If the seam is not sealed, water may leak in between the fan housing and the flashing. Be sure to use a generous amount of weatherproof sealant to create a watertight seal. Now replace the roof tiles on the bottom side of the fan, shaping them to the fan with an angle grinder if needed. Using the QuietCool secondary flashing accessory, gently slide the flashing over the fan housing and hood mounting tabs. Note, the secondary flashing was designed to work with almost all types of tile and cement roofs. The flashing can be molded to create the shapes of more unique style roofs such as S-tile and M-tile. Note, be sure that the secondary flashing extends onto the roof tile at the bottom of the flashing. This ensures that water cannot leak in between roof tiles. 
form the secondary flashing to close the gap between the flashing and the fan housing. The aluminum is very malleable, so this should be done easily using your hands. Using weatherproof sealant, seal the gap between the fan housing and the secondary flashing. Bend the left and right side edge of the secondary flashing at a 90 degree angle to create a water channel on either side of the flashing. This will help direct water to flow down and back onto the roof rather than side to side under the tiles. Using an angle grinder, cut the removed tiles to fit them to the shape of the fan and secondary flashing. Reinstall the tile around the fan unit. Apply weatherproof sealant on the bottom side of the secondary flashing to secure the flashing to the roof tile. The secondary flashing comes unpainted to allow customers to paint it to match the roof tiles. While this step is optional, we recommend to paint the flashing as it gives the fan a finished and integrated look. Reinstall the hood onto the fan unit and remove the protective film. Now head back into the attic. Open up the smart control hub and find a good location to mount the hub. If you'd like to hardwire your fan or it is required by local building codes, follow the wiring instructions in the owner's guide. For this installation, we will be utilizing the included power cord. Open up the hub and using two screws, mount it to the joist in your chosen location. Once plugged in, the installation is complete. For more information on operating the Smart Control app, pairing your phone, and more, please watch our QuietCool Smart Control tutorial videos.